Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, 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 grow together. So today is July um, 9th and uh, it is beautiful here in the Boston area. I am in zone 6 and welcome to my urban English style cottage garden and also oh, welcome to my channel Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow 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 together and I'm going to just take you around so that you can see what is happening in the garden for this day Sunday yep Sunday joy in July and I have de decided that this month is going to be called joy in July yeah so we're looking for the joy in the garden here at Catherine's garden and home where we grow 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 together I just want to show you that my elephant ear that I saved is looking so good Wow, the leaves are getting bigger and it's just enjoying this spot and I just am impressed with it. This is my second year with them. I saved the, the tubers and replanted them and this is what I'm getting. I just, just to give you a sense of the size of the leaf, this is my hand in it and that's the size of the leaf. Isn't that pretty? Now I also have another batch here in a container which is up here in this part of the garden and it is growing really well here. I'm getting fuller as well. That pot is bigger that I had it in that container so they have more room to grow but I think that this is looking good here in this spot as well. The cannas are showing up. This is another canner that I saved from last year. Um, I don't remember the name of it, <laughs> but it is beautiful. And there's another piece, a uh, canner right there. Uh, Sped is doing well. The birds just love this hedge, but we're going to be cutting it down because it's it's a little too wild. But um, you know, that's how July is. It's a lot of growth because of the rain and the warmth. We get a lot of growth in the garden. Let's see, Let's see if we can zero in on him. This is a little sparrow there. Anyway, what I wanted to show you too is how my Amaranth is just expanding. Look at that amaranth. I'm looking so good with these day lilies and also with the bee bomb. I grew this from seed. I think these are calendula. And I just tossed the seeds in the pot with the geranium just because I had the seeds and I just needed to um, find a place for them. And look at how they have 
that have grown and now are flowering. That that is amazing. And they're working really well with this garden space because of the day lilies. It's bringing out the yellow and the interior color. You see that? Kind of orangey color, middle of the calendula with the color of the day lily. So it's all working together. Here at Catherine's Garden and Home, I am just having a really great time growing my basil and cilantro and the cinnamon basil here, as well as growing my zinnias and experiencing them here in the garden. A lot of things are happening now for July and the garden is just exploding with color and growth. So uh, let's just enjoy this time. It is beautiful because it's been raining frequently and the garden is just responding to the rain and the warm temperatures here at Catherine's Garden and Home. It's amazing how the squash, corn, tomatoes, cucumbers, and this new bed that we formed here is just growing. That the squash is just moving rapidly out of its space and wanting to take over. But it's squash, butternut squash, pumpkins, the whole bit. And these are. Um, beautiful tomatoes these are the big boy tomatoes and we have to get some either cages or staking for them real soon but the corn we have the corn here growing up as well and uh, these cucumbers are starting to flower and this is the pickling type of cucumbers i love them because they are easy to eat and um, you know they they're nice size and crispy um, I love them I use I don't um, pickle cucumbers <laughs> but I do eat them and I'm truly enjoying this I also have in this bed uh, kale. Mm -hmm. We have kale growing in here and they're looking healthy and nice. And I also planted some, um, you see that right there in the center? That is a okra plant and it's being overtaken, but hopefully it will grow up and, uh, and become taller than the squash, all the squash vines and so forth. <clears throat> I also have in the eggplants and I'm amazed at how rapidly things are just growing here. It's, it's amazing. This side garden I've always called my urban English style cottage garden because there are a lot of cottage flowers in this bed and it evolves over time and I've really tried to spend the time to edit this garden space and uh, to really give it that English flair with um, our cottage plants and also pass along plants and annuals and the whole, you know, 
beauty of uh, the garden experience here in this little bed. I, I'm just always amazed at how rapidly things grow in July. And if you'd seen this just a couple of weeks ago, it was not looking like this. But now it's just lush and full and um, just I've just been pulling out weeds, making sure that what I really want to have in the garden is here. So let's take a look at this here in Catherine's garden and home where we grow, 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 grow together. Well, here in the corner is one of my hydrangeas and this hydrangea plant I uh, propagated about three or four years ago and it has grown into this beautiful shrub here. Um, my husband had cut it back really hard, not knowing that it fl flowers on old wood. Uh, but I think it was a good move because how uh, luscious it looks and how beautiful the leaves are. And that next year, I believe we will have some flowers from it. And then you can see that this, the sedum doing well here and and we have also a nice grouping here of chasta daisies well these chasta daisies I had started them last year um, from seed from the American seed company the Dollar Tree seeds for 25 cents and it just stayed there it didn't look like it was growing or developing but just as they say about perennials first they sleep then they creep then they leap well these chasta daisies have definitely come in to the leaping stage here and they are looking beautiful in the bed I also have bee balm. Now this bee balm uh, has been here for the last couple of years and just a beautiful plant. I'm so glad that it is now in its in a beauty that there are a lot of buds here and that we're going to see um, hummingbirds and butterflies coming to eat of its nectar and I have started to see that actually yesterday I saw a couple of hummingbirds flying in in the garden and I know that they're happy to come and visit me here at Catherine's garden and home because they know that they're going to get fed I have bachelor's button and we have these geraniums here. They are so beautiful. Uh, these geraniums, I, I saved them from last year and repotted them up. I think that the, no, I think this pink one is a new one that my husband bought, but it's growing very well and uh, the red one is a saved geranium from last year so now that I know that I can save the geraniums um, I'm going to be doing that because they all grow nice and big and full and uh, I'm able to elevate them and put them here in the garden in these pots the planters mm -hmm. so this is purple perilla right here that you see and the caladium seeds. I threw out the caladium seeds and they are now opening. Now this caladium looks a little different from the caladium on the other side that I showed you. And I also have um, the California, California poppies that are returning from last year. Actually this whole bed I had more like a wildflower garden and a lot of these, uh, like the bachelor buttons, 
and the caladiums and um, the California poppy. They're from last year. They um, are returning from last year. I planted in zinnias and I can't wait for them. I'm so excited for the zinnias to show up. And I also have a Cleome there. You can see the Cleome is about to flower. That's going to be pretty. So in the midst of all of this um, color that is showing forth now with the uh, bee balm, we're also going to have a whole area here of zinnias, which I love. I love zinnias. They're going to be there too. And inside here, I planted okra. I'm, and I see it expanding. I'm just so pleased with that. And this is like my second, third year trying, my second year trying to grow okra in this bed. And this year I gave them a lot more room than I did in the previous years. And they are trying to actually grow and show up. The leaves look nice and big. I'm excited about that. Yes. Of course I have marigolds that I seeded and they're coming up. Now this plant right here, this is an herb plant and it's called dragon head balm. Dragon head balm. And isn't it pretty? I bought this seed from Baker Creek um, RareSeeds.com and um, I wanted to use it as a, uh, a tea uh, and I'm hoping that it will grow here and self seed and that it can create like a little hedge or I can save the seeds and um, start them again for next year but right now the flower is so pretty with the purple perella and I can see this like a little hedge I have one there and one here I started um, those plants through the winter sowing bottle method and uh, it took a while for them to actually uh, start to grow. Finally I took it out of the bottle and said I need to put it in the ground and I'm glad that I did because I think now they are flourishing and um, I'm hoping that it will as I say sell seed here in this bed and um, almost um, do like the purple perella just be all over the garden. <laughs> That purple perella is amazing uh, and it just sells seeds and I have to weed it out continually, weed it, weeding it out and deciding which one I want to keep and how many and so forth. So that's what I'm hoping for with this dragging head bomb. Hmm. And then I have nasturtium. Just doing really well. You know, this tomato plant here is a volunteer from last year. And it's growing right there. It's amazing. And then I have an eggplant. I love the flower of the eggplant. Oh, it's the right color. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then, of course, my sunflower. Just one sunflower. It's multi black branched. I noticed that this is a multi branch, and I, I just planted the seed from the American seeds, 
and um, not knowing that it's going to be like this. It's multi branches, so we'll have multi um, flowers here. I think that is so beautiful. burpee seeds um, I think those are burpee seed uh, zinnias that I have gotten and sowed and then of course I have my uh, drumstick and limbs here planted in some squash and they're trailing and I want them to just have their way and go up into the shrubbery here as well um, and uh, that we'll use the shrubs as uh, a trellis for the vines and I've been doing that for the last couple of years and it just gets the fruit off the ground and makes it easy for me to um, here for the the squash, butternut squash and pumpkins and things like that. And yes, as the season progresses, it will fill out even more. But um, that's where the fun comes when it's time to harvest all of those beautiful squash and uh, winter squash. I'm excited about that. Finally, I want to show you my zucchini plants. I have one, two, three, three zucchini plants here, and they just love this corner. Look at how luscious they are, and uh, they're starting to fruit, but um, I just love the... I just love the look of the big leaves. I think it looks exotic and it's very full. Um, and I just uh, am looking forward to harvesting the zucchini in here. See, you can see some zucchini coming in and the beautiful flowers of the zucchini plant. It's huge, but it's it's just beautiful. I just love it. And then I'm growing here some annuals, petunias, vincas. I have some peppers here in this container. And then I also have this grouping here in the corner. Now these red, uh, beautiful sun patients are from Costco. And at one point I thought they had died out, but they're looking very happy here. And it's supposed to get nice and big. So I have to keep feeding them and uh, keep making sure that they get enough uh, sufficient water and I will have a beautiful display here 
red and white and some pink with the vinca, the petunias, and these sun patients. Well, thank you so much for joining me here at Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together. And if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below, how is your garden growing for this beautiful month of July? Yes, are you experiencing the joy of July? And are you satisfied with how things are looking in your garden? If not, what changes have you made? And uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, thank you so much. And I, I would love for you to be a part of our growing community. We meet on Wednesdays here at 5.30 p.m. where we come together and we talk about the garden. We sing about the garden. We're excited about the garden. And we share tips and um, information on how to do things uh, well in our garden. Yes, with a lot of laughter and joy. So come and join us on Wednesdays at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time and um, be a part. And the way to know that it is happening, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and like it as well. Thank you so much for doing all of that and uh, see you next time right here at Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, 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 grow together. I'm amazed at how this back bed is just looking so good. Yeah, the back of the border here. And I'm, it's starting to look exactly like what I want to see happening back here and what I envisioned with the different layering. You can see the impatience there, then the hostas, and then the hydrangea. And it's made up of, um, those hydrangeas are the uh, Nico Blue, Mop Head hydrangeas, and some other uh, types um, that I have gotten from a friend um, so I don't know the names of them and I also see my rhododendron bush in there too but this is exactly what um, I envisioned for back here and these hydrangeas when they are covered in the blooms one year they were so it was so prolific the, the blooms were just all over this garden on all of the different shrubs and it was absolutely spectacular but even still like this it looks very good and I love the day lilies back here with them and it's making me feel like I need to plant some of these uh, day lilies here for this time period I also have the dianthus there, which looks good. And I love this hosta right here. It just glows. That I might want to actually spread to back here and other parts or further down the bed. But you can see the mop head uh, flower here. Very pretty. And it, it looks good too with the flower of the pasta. It's almost that same kind of coloring here. So um, I just think this is so pretty. This hedge is just looking really, really good. This rhododendron is expanding. I'm so excited about the rhododendron because early in the spring, it gives a beautiful purple flower 
and it adds such life here and then check this out now these these uh, hydrangeas these hydrangeas I propagated some of them I divided some and from different from different plants and look at this I know this one is one that was propagated I followed Mike Kincaid and his process and if you check out my um, video playlist you'll see what I did that year and planted in these you know, hydrangeas and look at it it's flowered for the first time this year this first time not this year but period look at that so patience you've got to have patience in the garden look at how beautiful it looks here and then of course we have these uh, daylilies here and I have another rhododendron and also here I had um, this iris and I didn't stake it so it's kind of like flocked but it had bloomed later on in the in the spring it had bloomed in the spring I mean earlier on not later on earlier on in the spring so there are still a lot to do back here, but it looks good. I'm pleased with uh, how this section is developing. We just got to move it down further. You now add some more of those uh, those hostas that are bright and shimmery. Yeah, and fill up like the gaps here. Now this is a weed. I need to pull this. And add some more of these day lilies so they can create a cluster like this. Very pretty. Love it. So if you like this video and you like seeing my garden, well, why don't you subscribe to Catherine's Garden Home. Just like and hit the notification bell and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Um, what do you like about the garden? Uh, are you enjoying your garden and why do you like to garden? leave a comment and what are you experiencing in your garden are you experiencing the joy of the garden i hope so leave a comment down below here at uh, catherine's garden and home where we grow 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 together bye For more videos, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye.